look at this uh, tiny piece of paper and look with your concentration. When I look deeply into this sheet of paper, I can see I can see a flower, a, a, a cloud floating in it. You don't need to be a poet in order to see a cloud in a piece of paper. We know very well that if no, if there is no, if there were no cloud, there would be no rain, and the trees would not be able to grow. And without the trees, you cannot uh, make the paste for the paper. So really, the cloud is in here. It's inside the paper. Paper is made of non-paper elements. And, the cl- and water cloud is one of these non-paper elements. You can see the rain, you can see the forest, the trees. With the eyes of a practitioner of meditation, you can see things that people, other people cannot see. When I touch the sheet of paper, I touch the forest, I touch the trees. If you remove the forest, if you remove the trees from the sheet of paper, the sheet of paper cannot be there for you. So I touch the cloud, I touch the trees, and you know that uh, the trees carries the earth. Without the earth and the minerals underneath, the trees cannot grow up. And therefore when I touch the paper, the tree, I touch the earth, I touch the minerals. They're all here. And when I touch the sheet of paper, I touch the sunshine. Without the sunshine, no trees can grow. I can touch the sun without burning my finger. And that is why we we see that uh, everything can be found, can be touched in a sheet of paper. And now as we ask uh, about the coming of the sheet of paper, and we discover the same thing. The paper has not come from anywhere. It only manifests itself in the form of a sheet of paper. And before taking the shape of uh, a sheet of paper, it has been other things like the trees, the cloud, the sunshine. So this is only a continuation. This is not a creation. To create means from nothing you become something. From no one you suddenly become someone. But this is not. The paper has not come from nothing. It has come from the trees, from the sunshine, from the cloud, from the earth from the worker in the mirror. So the nature of the sheet of paper is the nature of no birth. To be born, we think that uh, to be born means from nothing you suddenly become something. From non-being you become being. From no one you become someone. That means to be born. That means birth. But looking deeply, we see that uh, before taking the shape of a sheet of paper, the sheet of paper had been something else. And you can point to the trees, and the trees can be seen here. Dear Thai, dear Sangha, in my former life, I have been a tree. I have been a cloud. And there we can believe the sheet of paper. It is telling us the truth. 
And the true nature of the sheet of paper is the, the, the nature of no, no coming, no birth. And that is true with the flame also. You, and if the sheet of paper has never been born, because the moment we believe to be the moment of birth is only a moment of continuation. It's like a cloud. When it, uh, it becomes uh, rain, that is not a moment of death. That is only a moment of continuation. Because to die in our mind, to die means from something you become nothing at all. You become a nothing. From someone you suddenly become no one. And it is impossible for a cloud to die. You cannot reduce a cloud to nothing. A cloud can only become the rain, the snow, the hell, the ice. But uh, it is impossible for a cloud to die, to become nothing. So the nature, the true nature of a cloud is no death, no coming, no going, no birth. No death. The sheet of paper is like that too. Even if I burn the sheet of paper, I cannot reduce it into nothingness. If you observe the burning of the sheet of paper, I can ask the flame to do so, but we are powerful enough to see without the form. And in the process of burning, we can see the manifestation of heat. Be careful, uh, you burn your finger. And the heat penetrates into Thai, into all of you, into the cosmos. That is a continuation of the paper. The stopping of one form of uh, manifestation is at the same time the beginning of other forms of manifestation. And because you, you observe it with all your concentration, you see smoke rising. Again, smoke rising is a new continuation of the piece of paper. And then we can look up and say, Bye-bye, sheet of paper. See you again soon. Because the sheet of paper is now in its new form, smoke. It will join a cloud. And tomorrow we might encounter it again in the form of a rain drop right here on our forehead. We have to recognize the sheet of paper in its new manifestation. The heat that is now in us, that is now in the cosmos. The smoke that is now in the sky, and maybe tomorrow in our cup of tea. And that is what uh, practitioners of meditation can see. And then the some ash, ash is left, and a novice can put the ash uh, back to the ground. And maybe in a few years we have another retreat in Stonehill, and you see a grass blade, which is the continuation of the ashes. So you cannot reduce something to nothing at all. A sheet of paper, like a 
กล่าวแค่นในวันใด it can only be transformed into other forms and that is why the true nature of the flame the true nature of the paper the true nature of the cloud is the nature of no coming no going no birth no death no birth no death